Good morning! It's my day at the gallery today, so I thought I would show you some of the Big 100 exhibition that's on, uh, that's running until the 4th of April. So it's 100 pieces of art for £100 or less by all of our artists. Um, so let's have a look. Piece I wanted to show you was this gorgeous mixed media on paper by Tiffany Logan. It's about 65 by 80 centimeters framed but it's absolutely stunning and well worth a hundred pounds it's an absolute bargain the colors are just gorgeous it's lovely vibrant pinks and lime and my favorite teal turquoise so just above that is Stuart Holbert's ICM photography which stands for intentional camera movement so I believe you leave it a, I'm not a photographer but and obviously because all you can see is me um, I think you leave it as a long exposure and move the camera and it gives you these amazing atmospheric scenes oh my goodness. next up is Martin uh, Martin and I are doing a solo exhibition in November this year called All Our Stories which is kind of a look at nostalgic toys and comics and things like that um, now Martin's stuff is made with household paint, so he doesn't use what you, I suppose what you'd call conventional acrylics and things like that. But it's really cool. I, he does like these cool backgrounds and then goes over them. And he always has these really like quirky titles and things. It's really fun artwork. So that's Martin. Those are hundred pound each. Bargain. So these beautiful prints are original Lino, I believe they're Lino Reduction prints by Nick Wanham. They're absolutely beautiful. And they are framed up mounted and they're £60 each. Now this is Graham's photography. I have no idea how he does it. I know he does a lot of um, image manipulation uh, on the computer, but they're wicked. How cool is that if you could see it and not me? Um, so these are framed up £80 each. Really fab. And now we've got lovely Hayley and her gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations of her quirky animals. These titles are just the best. It's Chillicious, Pugalicious, and What the Flock. Brilliant. So they are 85 85 so cool. These two are by one of my favourite, favourite artists, Audrey Imba. I absolutely love Audrey's work. I think it's stunning. It's so in-depth and expressive and you can't really catch it on the camera, but they're beautiful. And they are, those are a hundred each, absolute bargain. Really, really lovely. This one is a screen print, it's one of ten, a limited edition, framed by Vanessa Bryson. Really lovely, it's like, a, reminds me of Miami, I wonder what she's called it. Reflections in the pool, 35, brilliant. Now these two are by quite a new um, artist for us, Linda Anderson. This one is a mixed media on canvas, quite atmospheric, it's called Listen to the Reading. That's £100. Good seat. I don't know if I can catch it. All the texture in there, amazing. The text. And this one is an oil on canvas called Reflected Sky. And that one's £100. This is a little selection by Maggie Barton, who is a really popular glass artist here. She makes these quirky kind of, it's often music related and just about having fun. Uh, these are £80 each and they're mounted on a wooden sort of backboard so they're ready to hang. Lovely. These have got to be an Easter favourite. These are just so sweet. These are by Anne Walker. They are, well she's called them Easter bunnies but I don't see why they have to be. They're ceramic stoneware. These little ones are 50 each and these little guys, I love him. I love him. They're only £35. Oh my goodness. And look this little one with the little flower. And this little guy. Oh, gorgeous. Well done, Anne, they're fab. And now we've got these really vibrant pieces by Caroline Harris, who's another of our glass artists. 
Um, so this one is a sunset stand. I believe you put a candle behind it. I think it's good to touch. Um, and then this is so beautifully executed. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like transparent lines running through it. It's just really, really lovely. So that's Caroline. Oh, those are 80, 85, 75. A couple of pieces by Sally Korn, who's one of our newest members. Absolutely stunning. Her work is amazing. So this is a print, uh, it's 60 pounds mounted. And she's also got an original up here, which is a hundred pounds. Winter Wanderer, and that's an oil painting. I don't, I just don't think I can catch the detail of it, but it's stunning. It looks like real fur. Don't know how she does it. Amazing. These two are by the brilliant Mike Rollins. Little landscapes, oil on canvas. They're seventy-five each. It is Plough Lines in Frost, which is oil on canvas, seventy-five pounds, and this one is Frost at the Edge. I really like this one. It reminds me of my childhood. I grew up in the country and it just, it really captures those tractor lines in the icy weather. Love it. I hope I can pick these up because I love them. This this is um, Anne Hignall and they're just so up my street. They're full of energy and line and colour. I could just see exactly what she was trying to capture. I just love it. I love this negative space and it's just, yeah, fabulous. So energetic. So they are £100 each, mixed media framed up. Gorgeous. So these are pieces by David Holmes, who's a sculptor of driftwood and sea glass. He makes a lot of lamps and furniture and these beautiful sculptures. They're just so lovely. Uh, those ones are 75 each on the plinths. Next up is the fabulous May. Um, I just oh, adore her work. It's so vibrant. It's acrylic and I think stencils in there. She really just goes to town and play. You can see all the play that she does and how much she enjoys working with these mediums. It's just beautiful. So that one is 45 for the top one, like a landscape. Um, yellow haze is 50 and landscape 2 uh, 45. Beautiful. These are by Claire Pringle who works in porcelain but also with vintage textiles and vintage patterns so it's really close to my heart because that's kind of right up my alley but they're gorgeous absolutely beautiful. They're just really well thought through so this one's called crochet patchwork so it's an imprint of, I don't know if she's crocheted it or if she's found some crochet, but then to make the patchwork shape from that in porcelain with that gorgeous blue indigo stain, I just think it's so well thought through and it's just beautiful in its simplicity. This one is star wart, so she'll go and push found objects into the porcelain and another crochet one. I just think they're stunning, love them. She also makes, I'm just gonna come over here, these gorgeous um, vessels based on old patterns. So where they used to poke through, I don't know if you would know this, but they used to, instead of having it all printed, it would all be poked through like with little pin pricks. So it's made from this, Pa these patterns and it's just the detail of them is so lovely Look, and then it's all blue inside and it tells you what pattern it was they're so sweet so that one's 60 and the mini one is 35 uh, 60 and I've covered that one up 85 well worth it absolutely stunning this one is by our Sandy she makes these absolutely fabulous quirky paper mache sculptures and they're just so lovely. This one is Bubble Bird and he's 40 pounds. Isn't he fab? He's got like a gold beak. So much fun. Okay, so I must show you these. I absolutely love these. I think they're brilliant. They're um, a sterling silver jewellery set. So 
Um, this is by Debbie Armstrong, Fable Silver, and she makes all of these. She also runs workshops here, so that's worth having a look at the website if you're interested in that, um, just to see what dates she's got going. But look, it's in this amazing book, a real old book. And she's made this little set and I love it so much. So that's a hundred pounds she's got. We've got two of those. And we've also got um, rings and necklaces that she's made over in the cabinet and earrings. On to fabulous Cathy. This is uh, Cathy's Toucan, it's a hundred pounds. I don't know if I can, can you see that? All the texture in there. So she does it with oil paints and they're so popular. So that's Toucan, that's an original oil, so that's hundred pounds. And then we've got a print up here, which is number seven of a hundred, limited edition, two Toucans. And that one is 60 pounds. Beautiful. I love ceramics. These are by Anya. Um, and I just love the textures that she gets. It just amazes me. I wish I'd studied ceramics. Um, so I believe that's a slab vase, but it actually says pivot vase, so I might be totally wrong. But this one is 85 and this one is 45. Um, but they're just stunning. So that's Anya Penga on it. What else have we got? Fabulous Opal. This is Baby Sci-Fi Raygun. It's absolutely brilliant. I love Opal's work. Um, it's just so quirky and well executed, beautifully framed. That's an absolute bargain at £100. These gorgeous little gems are by Tilly Wanham. They are just gorgeous. Uh, if you can see again, I'm having this light issue, but um, Tilly paints in acrylic. These are all acrylic on paper framed up and they are £50 each and they're just the dearest little scenes of cottages and just flowers and they're just really really lovely do they call that cottage core i don't know but stunning anyway i'll try my best to capture these these are by rita so these two are um prints limited edition um that one is saint ive setting sun and this one is called ethereal light it's actually amazing how much a print can capture the texture. If I, can you see that? But they're so well done and they're beautifully framed. So they are 95 each. Gorgeous. So this piece is by Sarah Hewitt. It's called Spring Ties. She's also a new artist with us at the gallery. This one's 89 pounds. It's oil on canvas framed in a float frame. It's stunning. I absolutely love her work. Um, she just captures things so beautifully and the colours are so vibrant. Another of hers, so this is also £89, this is called Coast Path at Sunset. And you can really see it, you can imagine like tripping down that little path to the beach, it's fabulous. So these are mine, I've also got a couple of bits in the show. These are uh, mixed media on paper, so this one is on a vintage book all about flowers. So it's a floral that was called Meadow Sweet Mayhem. That's oh my gosh, you can hear that. Um, Fifty pounds framed up, and then this one is called Mop Heads versus Lace Caps, and that's on a pastel paper, and that's mixed media. It's really you can't see it very well. It's really vibrant against that white mount. I've also got Kingmaker, which is this one here, which is a uh, mixed media on paper, framed up. And last but definitely not least is Lucy Sugden. So Lucy is our featured artist um, for the next two weeks. So she is displaying her stunning work in the window. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's all hand woven and the ethos is that it's made from recycled fishing wire and it's all about upcycling and you should really follow her Instagram because she has the most beautiful garden and she's so observant of nature and you can really see the influence in her work. So there's a whole range of them they're just gorgeous. That's an original, uh, that's wool and cotton weaving 
and all of these are woven in they're not embroidered and added on later it's all embedded within the embroid uh, within the weaving sorry it's because i do embroidery i keep saying that um so those are 60 pounds each which is, for the amount of work is an absolute steal so lucy's also doing some workshops so if you go on i don't know if you go onto her website or onto our website yeah we also have our range of greetings cards so most of the artists here have got um, a selection in our browsers. They start at £2.50 each. So don't forget because um, it's nice to support independents. So I hope you've liked the little tour. I was really nervous of talking on camera, but it turns out I can't stop talking. So who knew? Uh, there we go. Uh, so pop down and see us. We're here till the 4th of April. And then we're going into two solo shows, um, one after the other. So it's Rita and Stuart first. And then Hayley and Tiffany are doing theirs directly after that. So lots to look forward to. Exciting.